We think of a next and soon, the cup and get on to the cover Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Before I get into this video, I just want to say rest in peace to the 13 year old boy that did actually pass away and my condolences to his family. I just want to talk about everything that has been going on and social media and the way they like to investigate things. For those of you that do not know, a 13 year old boy passed away due to a stabbing in Reading. On the news, it says that four boys have been arrested and one girl. When an incident happens, Happens and obviously you're you're in a generation of social media there are there tends to be a lot of investigating and like screenshots and this conversation is getting exposed and whatnot I'm just gonna read out some of the things that I have come across I don't know if any of these are true however some of these things are to be alleged as to what actually happened the first screenshot says my BF has been pissing me off lately and yesterday he shouted at me for sending news to someone so I wanted to set him up and get robbed or stabbed but not him so just stab him in the hand or something to teach him a lesson I will bring him to the destination for you to do it snap me if you want to do it need it done this week looking at this message yeah I cannot imagine somebody with a conscience somebody with sense even thinking that putting something like that up could possibly be normal. Now, that's why, that's why I find it very hard for something like this to be real. And a lot of the time, when you see like viral posts that have been screenshotted so many times to the point where you actually can barely read it anymore, like those things are done intentionally so that you don't actually find out where it, where it originated from. I actually cannot imagine somebody going onto their social media and putting that on their page, even if it was in a private story, I can't imagine you in your right mind thinking, yeah, 10 people are gonna see this and none of them are gonna snitch. Like, that, that just is so bizarre to me. There's a lot of conversations that have been released. I don't know if some of them are true, but social media does like to do their investigating and social media like to create and do you understand? After everything has gone down, there's another conversation and it says, look here, yeah, allow me, I told the guy to rob him. I didn't say M him. Some, the person responded, bro, I don't give a F what you told them to do. Either way, you're responsible for what happened and you're effing sick for it. She goes, minor, his Marge can produce another picnic. Well, he texted me randomly. Like, yesterday was like, oh, do you want cigarettes? I'm like, obviously I don't smoke cigarettes, but he just was like, oh, do you want some? And he, and he was like, I'm going to smoke with me to smoke with me. So then I was like, yeah, because Alex wants me to set him up. So then Alex, be like, what do we? It's going to go and bang him and pat him and shit. I'm so excited. You don't understand. But what I'm worried about is that imagine he's trying to set me up. I don't know who with. Like, so that is a voice note where basically that is alleged to be her actual voice and her snapchat account and she's basically discussing that a boy that she's familiar with or a boy that she's affiliated with is meant to be setting up her boyfriend and she's worried that he might actually be setting her up like it's actually scary actually hearing these conversations there was also another thing that i saw on the news and when i read news articles they wind me up because it's like when you read certain articles, you know the narrative that they, they try to push. I was reading this article because I was hoping that there was going to be at least a pinch of some kind of story that would have been released as to what happened and what the process was going to be and who's getting questioned in first. Like, absolutely nothing in this article. Like, all it says is age 13 and 14. They talk about the secondary school, they talk about the sister's response to the whole situation, but there's just one line and it says, Oliver was stabbed just 250 yards from his family's 750,000 four bedroom home on the edge of the fields. Like, and I need to understand that, like, I need to understand If this was a black boy, yeah, would you, would that even be in the sentence? Because what does the worth of the house mean to this whole situation? Why is it that this article has tried their best to make Reading sound like a gated community that nothing can go wrong in? I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you take from that comment that I just read out. 
I'm gonna read it again. Oliver was stabbed just 250 yards from his family's 750,000 four bedroom home on the edge of the fields. Like it's just such a random, it's just such a random sentence that just doesn't need it to be in the whole article. Another thing is, when I was 12, 13 and 14, yes, I can completely understand that obviously this generation have has grown up a lot quicker. They're introduced to things way quicker than it was. The younger generation see older people and want to emulate them and want to have what they have at a young age. I find it mad that a 13 year old can have such privacy. And when I say privacy, I mean, a 13 year old can actually have a phone with a password on it and have a Snapchat that, that you won't see the messages and the messages won't save and all those type of things. When I was that age, I could not even imagine having a phone, let alone deciding that in my mind, like I'm gonna create this account and nobody else is gonna be able to see it or nobody else is gonna be able to get into it or just all, all those type of things. Like as a parent, yeah, or if you guys was a parent, what would you do in a situation where you feel like your child is hiding something from you or would you put like a weekly routine on your child where you actually have to take their phone every evening or whatever and look through it because you see when you don't want like your parents or you don't want somebody to see something you're gonna go through lengths to make them not see it i literally have gone on the girl's tiktok and people are literally roasting her or they found her tiktok they found her social media and the comments are like, he was 13 a whole life ahead of him. You think you're funny setting up boys, but you won't be laughing when boys set you up on fire. As a member of the girls, you are no longer a member. Y'all ain't coming for her enough. Turn yourself in, he had a whole life ahead of him and you killed it. Should do the same to you. That was someone's son, look what you did. Don't laugh, don't laugh it off miss, it isn't funny. He was a young boy and still had a future. So I need to have a conversation with you lot in the DMs. What was you doing at 13? What was you doing at 13? And what, what rules would you set in place for a child that is 13 with a phone? And was you allowed to go out at 13? Because I 100% know that I wasn't. That was all for this mix up, got it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the ting. And thank you for the love every time. Once again, rest in peace to Oli that died. This is a very unfortunate situation and we will eventually find out what it was because of, or hopefully. And yeah, peace.